So I just purchased a huge comic book collection. As you see here, I filled my entire Sprinter van. There are 46 short boxes and eight long boxes, which totals around 10,000 comic books. I am so excited to go through all this and show you what we find. So stay tuned. All right, so I got all the boxes inside my house, 46 short boxes and eight long boxes, somewhere around 10,000 comic books. This is definitely the largest purchase I've ever made, the biggest collection I've ever purchased. Uh, I'm really excited to go through all these. Uh, really cool that some of these short boxes were the themed graphic comic uh, boxes here with Spider-Man and Batman and Deadpool, and you know they're really cool. Also, the seller ended up throwing in a huge stack of graphic novels and trade paperbacks. Really excited about that as well. All right, so it's been about a week now since I purchased this collection, and I pretty much have everything organized. I pulled out any keys and minor keys and better books that I found. I have all the comics organized by series and run and character, and it's been a lot of work. But honestly, it's been a lot of fun. I found some really great books. Uh, there still are a handful of books that need bags and boards, so I got to do that as well. But there's been some really cool stuff in this collection uh, all over the place between modern all the way back to golden age. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the books that I found in this collection. All right, so this box here has a whole bunch of Justice League Dark, almost an entire run. Uh, looks like we have 32 through 39 here. They still need to be put in bags and boards. And then we have a whole bunch in here. Let's see, I'll just kind of pull out a nice little stack, starting with issue number zero, issue number one, then it jumps to nine. They might not be in order, 16. So a whole bunch of Justice League Dark, almost the entire run here. Really, really cool, considering I just started collecting and reading all of those books. I was really excited to find that in there. Um, what is this here? Justice League Dark variant cover. Awesome variant covers. More Justice League Dark. So, whole bunch. As you see, we'll flip through these quick because there's more stuff in here. Oh, where did this come from? <laughs> random, random books stuck in here. All right, so we have some. All right, there it is. So, we got a Swamp Thing book. And then they're not like us. So, pull that one out. Old Man Logan, number five. I had these in a different box. Issue number two. I think they just got mixed up. Some more Swamp Thing. Some New 52 Swamp Thing. Whole bunch of Swamp Thing in here. Mostly the New 52 run. And then we got a random uh, Swamp Thing from 1980. Uh, Swamp Thing Saga. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Saga Swamp Thing number four. Number five, number six, uh, Future's End, really cool lenticular cover. That's really awesome. I love those. Some more New 52, whole bunch of Swamp Thing in here. Cool covers. Let's try to see if there's anything different than New 52 stuff. Some uh, Convergence Swamp Thing, number one. Number two, cool cover. All right, and then the rest here are Bronze Age horror stuff. Ripley's Believe It or Not, 25 cent book from uh, Gold Key Publishing. UFO and Flying Saucers. House of Mystery, 253. And we got some random Sergeant Rock, Unknown Soldier, Unknown Soldier. Weird War Tales, Weird War Tales, cool cover, some Weird War Tales again, whole bunch of these, a lot of these Weird War Tales, I didn't realize there's so many, more Unknown Soldier, more House of Mystery, so it looks like it's a lot of DC Bronze Age Horror Stuff, House of Mystery, House of Mystery, I Vampire, 
We got Unexpected. That's a cool cover with a Abraham Lincoln Memorial. Unexpected. We got Ghosts. Pretty cool. More Ghosts. Awesome covers. Secrets of Haunted House. Almost look like a Bernie Wrightson cover. I'm not sure. More Secrets of Haunted House. Let's move this a little closer so we can see. More Weird War Tales. We got Doorway to Nightmare, issue number three. So that would be like the third appearance of Madame Xanadu. Secrets of Haunted House. Unexpected. Really cool. Charlton Scary Tales. Oh, we got a little Jonah Hex. So I had a couple uh, random series stuck in here. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is like stuff I might keep for my personal collection. So I, I threw them all together here. All right. Big box of great stuff. Let's move on to the next. All right, this next box here has a whole bunch of Deadpool. We got Deadpool versus Old Man Logan. Uh, the entire run, two issues, a number one. Whole bunch of those. Deadpool versus Punisher. Whole bunch of those. Deadpool versus Gambit. Such an awesome collection. I mean, there was so much different stuff. Merc for Money. And all of these are like the first, you know, five to ten issues. So nice little runs. Um, let's see. Moving on to some Moon Knight 192. Awesome cover there from issue number six. Uh, sweet cover here. Issue five. Really, really cool. Two copies of that one. Issue number three. This one's like a little minor key, I believe. Uh, issue number 10, 11. Another little minor key here. First appearance of, I can't remember off the top of my head. Lots of Moon Knight. And then moving on to some Spider-Gwen. Here's Spider-Gwen issue number one, variant cover. Really cool. Uh, Spider-Gwen number seven, variant cover. Spider-Gwen 9, Spider-Gwen 26, and there's def there's more Spider-Gwen and, uh, um, you know, different uh, Spider-Gwen series in other boxes as well, so lots of stuff in here. I'm just kind of pulling through a couple random uh, boxes here just to show you, kind of give you the gist of what's in here. Amazing stuff. Lots of Spider-Gwen. Ghost Spider number one, very cool. Unbelievable Gwenpool. And then we have some Ghost Rider, starting with issue 39, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45, 46, 48, 51. A big, nice run of uh, Ghost Rider here. Very, very cool. Couple little minor keys there. And then moving on to uh, Volume 2, more Volume 2, whole bunch of Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance, and then Ghost Rider, whatever volume this was, I don't even remember, great covers. This series of Ghost Rider here, really cool artwork. Um, lots of Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider Symbiote of Vengeance, number one. Ghost Rider Danny Ketch. Whole bunch of stuff here. Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider number one from whatever run that was. And then the run of Cosmic Ghost Rider, issue number one, issue number two. Three, four, five, six. So a big, nice little run of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Really cool stuff in this box as well. This next box here is all Uncanny X-Men. And there's actually more. Uh, this is just everything I could fit into this one short box. But I'll pull this first book out here because it's pretty cool. 
Giant Size X-Men number two. When I saw this in there, my heart dropped. I'm like, oh my gosh, is there going to be a Giant Size X-Men number one? But unfortunately, there was not. But still really cool, Giant Size X-Men number two. I've actually never owned this book. Thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then a whole bunch of annuals. Annual number five. Annual number seven. Annual number eight. Number nine. Number 11. Uh, another annual number five. Stick that in here. Annual number seven again. Couple uh, duplicates. Annual number eight. Annual number nine again. Uh, what is this? Is this an, yeah? Annual number ten. There's number ten. And annual number eleven. First cover appearance of Jubilee. Not too bad. Annual number fifteen. Annual number seventeen. Annual 18, so like almost the entire run of annuals. All right, so let's look at the rest of the books here. And uh, there's so much good stuff. So starting with issue 146, 147, you know, almost like, you know, a nice run of books here. Not every single issue, but still not bad at all. Oops fix this box here. All right. 170 classic cover here, 172. Awesome cover, 173. Another 173. 174, 78. First appearance of Leech. First appearance of Forge. Awesome Wolvie cover. Issue 200. 205 in a newsstand, that awesome Weapon X cover. Classic cover here, 207. Um, kind of just run through these quickly. A lot of this is just run filler stuff, but awesome. Uh, 234 Wolverine cover. I mean, just so many issues. First cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. Uh, this one, a little minor key. First Jim Lee on X-Men. Classic Mark Silvestri cover. Kind of just there's a lot of duplicates as well. A little Psylocke. The other Psylocke key. Awesome Wolverine cover. I mean, so many books in here. Kind of skip through some of the uh, run filler ones. Let's see if there's any other keys in here. And then we kind of get to the later 200s, the higher 200s. Uh, we got first uh, first appearance of Bishop. Oh, they're stuck together. And for, uh, first full appearance of Bishop. Sorry, I'm struggling here. The books are all stuck together. That's not good. Um, see any other keys in here? These are all like in the higher, going up to issue 300. There's issue 300, 306. So, not too bad. Lots of X-Men. And like I said, there's even more in other boxes. So, this next box was one of the highlights of this collection. Uh, the seller actually told me that he had this uh, before I bought it. And this was like the icing on the cake. I knew I had to get the collection when he told me he had this. Uh, in this short box here is every issue of Wolverine, the first ongoing series. Every issue from 1 until 130 pretty amazing and they're all in great shape so it does have issue number one really nice it's a direct edition but it's a really sharp copy and then it just goes on issue number two three four 
all of the books from 1 to 130. Issue number 8, of course, the classic uh, Mr. Fix-It cover. Really clean copy. I think it has one little spine tick on there. Uh, issue number 10, nice little key there. Uh, I'll kind of just pull out the highlights. Like, of course, issue 17. You know, just really great books. Super cool cover there. I like this one a lot as well. Issue 23. Classic Jim Lee on issue 24. Uh, another amazing cover of Wolverine, number 27. And it just keeps on going. Awesome cover. Every single issue, the entire run, and they're all in really great shape. Um, so it goes all the way up. Let's see, we'll pull out some, uh, that's like a little minor key on issue 50. And you're probably wondering if it's in there. And it is. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. Issue 88, first battle between Wolverine and Deadpool. But look, it's got these little rips by the staple. It's so unfortunate. Couple spine ticks as well. Not the best looking copy, but you know what? Still really cool to find that in there. So every issue all the way up. Let's see, the last issue in here is issue number 130. And I actually have higher issues uh, in other boxes. There's a whole nother Wolverine box, and I think it completes the run. So I think I have every Wolverine book in this entire series. Pretty amazing. This short box here is all Deadpool. This guy loved Deadpool. I mean, all the different little mini series. Really, really cool. I mean, we'll just kind of look here. A couple random books. I mean, there's some really good ones in here. Um, let's see, there was a really cool variant. Oh, this one. This one's got some nice value. Uh, the Garbage Pail Kids cover. <laughs> Reckless Wade, super cool book. Really excited to see that one. All Deadpool, Despicable Deadpool. Oh, the, li the whole uh, series of Return of the Living Deadpool and Night of the Living Deadpool. Very cool to see that in there. The entire run of the Back in Black Deadpool. Deadpool Assassin. Uh, you Are Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. I mean, so much cool stuff in this one. Like, just complete runs of all the different Deadpool miniseries. Really excited to have that as well. Here's a couple other short boxes that I organized. This is all Walking Dead. Pretty awesome. There's some great books in there. There's no Walking Dead 1 or any of the big keys, but a lot of the end of the run is in here. And some other cool, like, variants. A whole bunch of other Wolverine books. All the different miniseries. Uh, this one here is War of the Realms, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Guardians, Siege, Captain Marvel, Iron Fist, and Axis. Like, me, uh, you know, majority of the of the runs. Uh, this is all Hulk. As you see in there, there is a facsimile. That's not the real one. That's a facsimile of 181. Uh, this is Old Man Quill, Old Man Hawkeye, Weapon H, X-23, Old Man Logan bunch of you know full runs in there secret invasion secret wars iron man thor cable hobgoblin lots of cool uh runs in all these boxes as well uh this box is all dc new 52 this is all copper and bronze age whole bunch of harley quinn suicide squad green lantern hawkman uh, aquaman flash green arrow constantine and hellblazer uh, all Justice League, uh, Daredevil, Batman and Detective Comics. So much stuff here. Uh, we have this box here is all Deadpool, Carnage, and Venom. Uh, this Spidey box is Web of Spider-Man, Spectacular, Scarlet Spider, Spider-Force, and Ultimate Spider-Man. 
Um, we got some like some better DC, some like minor keys, a whole bunch of spawn. Uh, also, Dark Horse Presents. Uh, man, there's so much stuff. Marvel Comics Presents, Champions, Original Sin, Marvel Knights, Savage Avengers, Marvel Zombies, Infinity Wars. I mean, here's the X-Men box we looked at. A whole bunch of like full runs of indie stuff. Lots of indie books. Um, miscellaneous copper and bronze books um, from Marvel. Uh, what is this? We just looked at that one. I mean, so much stuff here. Here's the uh, Wolverine. Uh, these are all minor keys that I pulled. Uh, some more like key books for indie. I mean, there is just an incredible amount of comics here. So this collection was really interesting. It's very eclectic. Um, you know, the majority of these books are from like 2000 through 2019. But then there's like a mix of Copper Age and Bronze Age stuff and even a little bit of Silver Age, which I haven't shown you yet. But this box here was a huge surprise. This is all Golden Age, which I had no idea he had any Golden Age stuff in here. I'm going through the boxes. I didn't see it, uh, you know, when I was first, you know, looking through the stuff before I bought it. Uh, but when I got it home, I start tearing through these boxes and there's an entire short box of Golden Age. There's actually more, uh, but we'll, sh we'll show those at a different time. Classics Illustrated, issue number five. This is from like 1944, maybe? You know, early, early book here, which is so cool to have these 1940s books. And they're in really good shape for their age. Um, I actually ended up throwing these in new bags and boards. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, issue number 13. There's actually some keys in here. Uh, this is the Uncle Tom's Cabin, issue number 15. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments if you know, but there's a alternate cover for this book. That's a pretty big key for this run. Um, but this one has a different cover than that. But it's also, you know, the same issue number, 15. Uh, same copyright date from the 40s. A little bit of Huckleberry Finn. This is all like really early stuff. Mysterious Island, Jules Verne. Round the World in 80 Days. From the Earth to the Moon. This one here is a key. This is War of the Worlds, issue 124. Uh, the first comic book adaptation of War of the Worlds. Really awesome to find that. Nice key there. Journey to the Center of the Earth. I really love these books. This is another key. This is the first Invisible Man in comics. Pretty awesome. Classics Illustrated, 153. Some classic H.G. Wells. Call of the Wild. White Fang. Treasure Island. The Time Machine. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And then we get to some four color. Dell four color, really cool. This is also a key. This is Walt Disney's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It's four color, uh, issue 614, Golden Age, 10 cent book. This is the first comic book adaptation of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is an awesome find. This is the first appearance of the Hardy Boys in comics. Dell four color. Uh, 760. This is definitely something I might send out. It's in really nice condition. And uh, first appearance of Hardy Boys. Thought that was really cool. Old Yeller. This book is like in immaculate condition. The, it's really crazy to see how good uh, of a grade these books are. Treasure Island. This is all Dell Four Color stuff. Davy Crockett. Tarzan, whole bunch of Zorro, a couple cool Zorro books, and there's a couple other, oh, here we go, Lady and the Tramp with Jock, four color, 629, it's in lower grade, not horrible though, this is the first appearance of Lady and the Tramp in comic books, pretty amazing to find these. First appearance of Peter Pan in comic books. And this book is super sharp. Really, really cool to find that one. 
uh, this thing's like the second or third appearance of Bambi. Pretty cool. It's not the first appearance, though. And then we get to a bunch of Uncle Scrooge. These are uh, some more Dell Golden Age stuff. Lots of Uncle Scrooge. None of the bigger keys or anything like that, but still really, really cool books. And they're all in very, very nice condition. This one has a $20 price tag on it. And then we get into Donald Duck. Look at this cover. Donald's all drunk on soda pop. That's pretty funny. These books are in really nice shape. A whole bunch of Donald Duck. Uh, let's see here. There's more. There's Mickey Mouse books. Really cool. And they're all in high, like pretty high grade, you know, for the age. Some are not. Some are kind of lower grade. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. And then we get to the Walt Disney Comics and Stories. A whole bunch of these. There's Dell Four Color. There's Dell, uh, just um, the regular Walt Disney run. I mean, these are so cool. All 10 centers. So much cool Golden Age goodness here. And a lot of these, like I said, I keep saying over and over again, but I'm just so surprised at the condition of these books. This is amazing. Some really great covers on here too. Classic, classic stuff here. All right, so an entire short box of Golden Age with some pretty amazing keys in here. I was just floored by how much uh, cool stuff was in here and this collection containing this stuff. You know, it has mostly modern age and, uh, you know, copper, bronze, a little bit of silver, but having over a short box of golden age was a very, very pleasant surprise. All right, everybody. So that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we went over some really great stuff. Uh, we saw some golden age books, some full runs, some great series, some keys. I mean, there was so much really great stuff, but there is even more to show you, even better stuff, if you can believe that. Uh, I still didn't show you all the best books, the biggest keys that I found. Uh, there's other series. There's more golden age. There's more silver age. There's a lot of stuff in this collection. Over 10,000 books, the largest collection I've ever purchased and had the pleasure of sorting and rebagging and boarding and processing. I mean, this has been over a week of of a lot of work. So, but you know, I've been having a great time and it's been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video going over some of the books in this collection. Of course, there's over 10,000 books. I can't show you every single one, but I wanted to show you some highlights and stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to go over even more books and all the best keys that I found. So stay tuned for that. So smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell. And as always, I'll see you on part two.